so if I'm being honest with myself, that last tutorial was kind of lame. So, this week you guys get two lame tutorials. Very nice. Okay, so if you guys are doing, you know, what I've been showing you a, a bunch, you know, getting all your instances to have random scales and rotations and all that, it can be a pain to go dig through all your code and change all the values in your code especially if you're passing this effect on to somebody else that has little to no experience with mel uh... something you can do is bring those attributes that might be changed often to the surface or put them on a controller or something like that so it's easier for you or somebody else to change them so again this time I'll create a little bit fewer, just four this time, and I'll create a volume emitter. Cool. Outliner out and instance these all. Instance again, and I'll just show you how to do it with scale this time. So, of course, we'll need our custom index again. And custom scale. Okay. So what I usually do is I'll go and create a locator or you know whatever you want. And it doesn't matter where you put it, which is handy. You can go and add attributes to this. So let's say your your director is going to want you to change the scale all the time. So we'll do scale min this time it'll be a float and a scale max. Okay. So now in we go find our particle. our creation spreadsheet we'll get our custom index going first and this time I did four objects so we'll go between zero and five This time for custom scale. Like we did in our first tutorial, I'll add a float and call it, I don't know, foo, which equals anything between what we're going to set up on our controller. So it was locator one. Has scale min. I actually want this to be a random value again between our minimum value that we're going to set up in a minute and. scale max All right. then we need to add our custom scale which equals this three times Now 
this time if we go in and plug everything in with our scale and custom index our index will work but our scale won't do anything because we don't have anything set up on our controller yet custom scale and if you hit play this out a bit nothing because we have zeros for both so our min is 0.1 then our max is 0.5 now when we rewind you have you know something you can just change on the fly you don't have to go dig through your code or if somebody else is you pass this on to somebody else they just go to this locator controller or whatever you have set up and can change this on the fly and you don't have to mess with it digging through your code pretty handy stuff